Well, Avon has made a high-profile signing as it seeks to inspire mothers to balance family life with a fulfilling career. The global beauty brand has hired Karen Brady, the vice chairman of West Ham Football Club and, of course, Lord Sugar's right-hand woman in the TV show The Apprentice as a mentor. As such, the mother of two will share business insight and practical advice with Avon's army of self-employed saleswomen. Tell us more. Karen Brady joins us live from our Gherkin studio in the city. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, Karen, first of all, this, of course, is one of those never-ending problems for many working mums and indeed increasingly working dads as well. How do you juggle a career and a family? What sort of insights will you be sharing uh, with Avon employees? Well, we all know how difficult it is. You know, we have demands on our time from our family, demands on our time uh, from our work colleagues. And, you know, we're trying to be flexible, trying to earn an income, have some sort of financial independence and bring up a family. Uh, it's always different for different people how we do that juggling. I think if they always say, don't they, ask a busy woman uh, how to uh, get more things done because we're, we're pretty good at it. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to work with Avon, because they do offer this opportunity uh, that give women the flexibility to, to have that financial independence and earn some money whilst uh, running a family. Uh, but Avon is uh, still quite a rarity, isn't it? Because in the wider world of business, those kind of roles are still quite uh, sparse. And is it the case that we need to see a change on the uh, part of attitudes and employers? Well, it's interesting. A lot of people think that most women want to go out and run a global bank. Um, that's true for some women, but it's not true for every, you know, all women. What some women want is they want to be able to stay at home with their family. They want to be able to have some financial independence and have some of their own income, whilst at the same time being able to go to work and have affordable, high-quality childcare. Um, and all of those things in the mix mean different things for different people. Um, but what, what, you know, as I said, what a lot of women are looking for is something that they can do in the time that they have that allows them to stay at home and bring up a family but does give them that, that that financial independence and I think that's really important one of the things the key messages uh, for, for all women really is that you don't have to uh, have an ambition to run a global bank and you don't have to just um, you know be at home running a family there is a combination between those two things um, and there are other opportunities out there to find that combination. Yeah, you, you've uh, said uh, recently that you regretted, for example, going back to work so soon after the birth of your first child. Where does that kind of pressure come from and what have you learned from that, if you don't mind me calling it, mistake? Well, no, I think, I, think I, I clearly said it was, was a mistake. I think one of the things when you're younger is you don't understand or you don't comprehend that a career lasts a lifetime. Uh, you work very hard to get where you are and you want to continue building on your career. Um, and then I think as you get older, you begin to realize that actually taking time off, spending time with your family, finding that magical balance, that work-life balance. I mean, those were phrases 14 years ago when I was having my daughter. They didn't exist. Flexible working hours, work-life balance, juggling. You know, it was just you go to work or you stay home. And, and we are finding uh, that employees are being far more open to uh, flexible working hours, understanding that there are needs on business people both at home and at work. And that's a good thing. Now, Karen, I, I wanted to ask you as well a bit about your other job as uh, Vice Chair of West Ham, but we're out of time now. So we'll have to leave that till next time. Karen Brady, many thanks indeed for joining us from the city.